Welcome. We are again on the intro to ML language processing request for the cloud side jump that uh, we did on the 18th of November 2020. And uh, we are going to the last one speech to text transcription with the cloud speech API. Again, we have to get 100 points before pressing the start lab be sure that we have a time 30 minutes because we cannot pause the video it will take uh, five credits we are going to charge five credits and in this lab uh, we will see the cloud speech api lets us uh, do speech to text transcription from audio files in over 80 languages it is recommended to work on Chrome or on Firefox. I'm working on Firefox, private mode, and I'm ready, so I'm going to start the lab. I'm not a robot. I need to find the chimneys over here. I'm using subscription. I'll need to wait about uh, one minute for the resources of this lab. Okay. I have to scroll down. <coughs> I'm going to get a credential for uh, this uh, lab from Quick Labs and I'm going to use them to sign in to my Google Cloud platform account i will not use my email and my password i'm not going to use my google cloud platform account i'm going to use the credentials that uh, will be provided to me from quick labs and uh, they are going to be with uh, this das student okay now we have to wait I'm going to copy the username and I'm working already on uh, the private mode so I don't have any problem I will just click over here but uh, if you are uh, on uh, normal mode and uh, you want to click and open in private or incognito just right click okay I don't need that I need to cancel this one first and now the new one let's go back get the password for the account that is created for me over here I accept everything here confirm but it doesn't matter because I am working as a student with my account that is going to be destroyed deleted right after finishing this lab this is the cloud platform environment and this is the last pop-up I agree and continue Great, so let's go back to the lab. It says that we have to activate the cloud cell over here and continue. The cloud cell is uh, Linux Debian of a five gigabyte persistent disk that is uh, here for us. And uh, there are a lot of things already installed And over here there are two commands gcloud author list and gcloud config list project it is recommended on every lab to write the code by yourself but uh, just for the quick labs and to go fast I'm going to copy and paste it it takes some time to open I will refresh it. No, I will not. <laughs> Let's close it and open it again. 
test now it's better so authorize I want with uh, this command to learn uh, which uh, account is active and it says student02 if I go back this is the username if it goes on your project it would be your account over here so next line length command we want to check <coughs> the project that we are working if you see here it says project is equal to this one if we go back it gives us the Google Ad Platform project ID on uh, real uh, project you will get the project that you are working so first check if you are on the correct project otherwise you are going to destroy if uh, the IM roles are not uh, correct from your company you are going to destroy the project that you don't want it believe me so let's go back now we are going to create an AI API key so over here API and services go to credentials and create an API key you can copy it and paste it on your Word, your editor, your drive, uh, notepad I'm just clicking close because it's already here okay if you come back to API and services go to credential you can see that your API key one is here so next we have to check the progress we get a green tick and over here we get our 30 points now we need to SSH on our instance and export our key so let's go back it is created for us a compute engine instance a virtual machine of course you can open it and see inside here what is created for you but this is not the lab and we're not uh, we do not want to try anything else except what the instructions are telling us and the reason for that is if you try to import VM or create instance or do something else your account will be blocked and you have to send an email to the quick lab support explain them what you have done and uh, they will uh, unblock it so for now we want to click on the SSH over here we need to export the API, the API key and let's go back to our credentials and copy it from here and paste it over here press enter so instead every time writing all these letters and numbers small and capital we have exported as API key so now we are going to create our speech API request and uh, to do that we need to create a request JSON so okay let's copy that come over here and uh, now let's open it with nano <coughs> and uh, we need to fill all these things inside our nano and then control x y and enter great what we have done here with this part of code uh, the con we have the config at the audio object so the config is telling the encoding parameter and if we click over here on the documentation and scroll down 
we will see that we have all these four encoding parameters okay we are using flag which is free lossless audio codec so now we can check our progress green tick and over here we get 60 points 30 out of 30 correct and now we are ready to call the speech API so we take everything here and go to our SSH paste it and in order to get results we cut we write cut result dot json and press enter so this is the how old is the brooklyn bridge and uh, the confidence is 98.31 percent but how can we be sure about that if it says how old is the brooklyn bridge if we scroll back over here and press it how old is the brooklyn bridge you can hear it so we gave a speech and uh, we got back with 98% uh, of confidence this sentence this is amazing we have done nothing just using the Google's engineer we who have created for us this uh, cloud speech API let's check our progress we got 100 out of 100 so if you want you can press the add lab and uh, this lab is going to be credit to you that you have finished it but if not you can come over here and if you click this one you're going to get all the languages the 80 languages that are supported and you can hear you can read here everything or if you don't want it or whatever you want okay let's go here back and let's try a French audio file so first let's hear it Mettre corbeau sur un arbre perché tenait en son bec un fromage. Beautiful, great. So, let's copy it and uh, open our JSON file first. We have to delete everything. Paste the frames. Control X, Y, Enter. And now we can run the curl command again. And get the results. As you can see, it's the sentence that we've heard with a confidence of 93.85%. Uh, so, we have finished it. We can uh, press the add lab. We are sure. We can give the stuff that we want, submit. This is the Google Cloud Platform that I'm working and uh, i'm working as a student so i don't care for stopping the vm that was created for me okay because it's still running if i click on my real project x and go it will be running and uh, i will get charged and in order not to to avoid that i have to stop it okay but now i'm a student and I can go out, I can close everything from here, I don't care. And uh, I have finished it, congratulations for that. So, next steps. After finishing each lab, it's a good tip always to go and read the documentation of the tool of the technology you have already used on Quick Labs. If you want to learn how to use Google Cloud Platform, how to work with Google Cloud Platform, 
how to prepare yourself for the Google Cloud certification, it's a, a good tip always after the lab to go during the documentation. It will help you a lot, believe me. And uh, this time we have worked with uh, the Cloud Speech API and over here you can see we open it together, we can see that we have the language support and uh, over here is uh, the documentation about audio encoding but the main documentation is over here cloud.google.com slash speech dash to dash text okay these are the main things that you have to read so thank you for watching this video see you on the next one